Ubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the Second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. Only passage through the South Gate. <laughs> <sighs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Ha! <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're gonna listen to this swaggering scruff! We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet, even then, I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. What trouble is happening here then? What's going on? Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the Rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Can I jump over this? Nope. Fuck. Where should I speak? This person is the farthest away. Juiciest meat from, from the oven. You wouldn't believe how much you gave me. 
What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Ugh, oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. We well, scare who off? The, the men in the rock? What? A deposit. For what? Information, my good man. Listen carefully. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> uh, this. For the best job in Dan Mill, this is the final string for Sting. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. Me too. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. Can we Why even go back to the inn? I think we're pretty much banned in there. It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Upstairs. Not in trouble, is he? Uh the fuck you go. Uh where the hell did he go? Huh? Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? Just bribed a fucking fucking soldier? What the fuck is going on? Did you find someone to bribe to? I don't think he's gonna help us. He's gonna fucking betray us. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kuka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. 
We'll meet with them then. Just as you arranged. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. <laughs> of course. He is going to turn sour. Because why the fuck we have to go deal all the way over there? God damn it. He's gonna take everything that you have. What was all that crashing and banging about before? Of me killing your like your men's or the the uh, what do I call it? Empire? No, the Empire is the Bahamut. Royalist, yeah, Royalist. Okay, I remember. Oh shit, you were following me? I thought you were gonna meet me over there. Shit. How the fuck yours is more faster than mine? Mine's like a soldier. Is it here? Ah, oh, I feel like it's gonna be an ambush. Feels like it. Take it from here. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord, what is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both. Damn it. Why the fuck you had to say that? <laughs> oh, shit. It's not over yet, Uncle. I'm just getting warmed up. Wait. Who the fuck killed him? Who 
the bitch that healed him? You? No, it's you. Wait, is there another one? He's all the way over here, motherfucker. Wait, is my uncle killing him? Wait for it to go to the red marker. What? What the? What, it does it like do more damage? What the fuck was that? I gotta test that out. Well, that wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Graybeard, you were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly, buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, nope. thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... Ugh! Here, wear this. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. 
And please, feel free to send one of my Stolases back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. That was kind of creepy with the fucking owl. <laughs> His eyes turned fucking pale white. Holy shit. Is that how they do it? They, they they say some like magic words and they just send a message to the other party? What the fuck? That's kind of creepy. I thought it's gonna be like those Hogwarts, uh, you know, Hogwarts elves. You know, like they just bring the message on their, to the person. I've never even forged a butter knife before. <sighs> Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. Hmm, neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that or pack my bags. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been. And that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind. The spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lubor's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Let's hope that someone says something useful. Trust Lubor to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. I better get to it. Does he always does that? Take a sniff, good sir. Needed to a silken softness. Like eating a cloud with a crust. <laughs> yes, a branded. Welcome, sir. What can I do you for? A question, if you don't mind. I need to know what makes a good carving knife. You a blacksmith or something? Something, I suppose. Fair enough. Knives, is it? First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat, no problem. But sinew dulls cheap steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So a knife that stays sharp. Hmm. Makes sense. Why is he freezing over there? 
pack of meats? Once, <laughs> once you go flat. Who's this guy? Is it? Is it the guy that tried to kill us? Everything I've worked for. What's wrong with this guy? What's ruined? What is he looking at? The bath uh, house owner. What, what? What's ruined? All those years of toil. Every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place. Are you all right? The baths are closed. Leave me be. On second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. Might your services be for hire? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you, go to Dozenoff Terraces. Tell me what you find there. All right, I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. Oh, why do I care about you and your life? Are you helping the cause of helping out bearers, or...? They've opened the gate. Lubor was true to his word. Let's see. Fuck. Gotta look around. I gotta do this other side quest. But no, I'm gonna do the bathhouse. Oh. Wait, wait. What do you have? Are you looking for something in particular? Like me. Pull down. And you're right. Go with Gilbert. What is it? Me no move for charter. Sorry. Do you mind if I ask your trade? Hunter, why? I have a question. Can you tell me what makes a good carving knife? I assume you use one out in the field. Oh. Um. Has to be able to put up with some punishment. Can't be dealing with a brittle blade, not while I'm on the hunt. If your knife snaps every time you use it, you'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. Times are hard enough as it is. Thank you. I won't keep you any longer. All business, eh? Man after my own heart. So, a carving knife should be hard wearing and hold an edge. Hardly a revelation. Let's hope Sava had better luck than I did. It's sick. Wait, what's going on? Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubal? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Ah, <sighs> just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Talmeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kuka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. I thought this guy over here is gonna talk to me or something, or if I knew him, or if it was Drake's Joshua. Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? 
Oh, I see the problem now. It's those uh, fire bombs. They're the reason why your your uh, water is too the hot. Gate's open now. We can press on. Did I call my yeah. What the fuck? Where the fuck you came from? You came from the bush? Faster. What the hell are those? They're demons. That's where they are. They're, they're fucking demons. He's gonna live with that. I got it. nothing, nothing important. That's cool things down a bit. That tub is enough to keep the baths from boiling. But why is it they, they're here? Let's go. All right. All right, sir. I I, I killed the demons that were. The man who saved my business. I don't know why I saved your business. You're not even that important. I was hoping we'd be seeing you again. The baths grow more bearable by the moment. It won't be long now before we are back to business as usual. I'm glad to hear it. Now, tell me this. What did you find at the terraces? What threatened to make me a pauper? Not what I expected, that's for certain. You tell a fine story. That's not to say I don't believe you, though. Creatures made of flame, eh? That's something new to worry about. But I burdened you with my worries enough already. Here, a small something by way of thanks. Right, it's high time I got back to work. With a little luck, the day might yet be salvaged. Why am I helping with the fucking guy with the bathhouse? Wait, what the fuck is this? Using crafting? What the fuck is this? Never fucking mind. Never fucking mind. <laughs> Maybe he is worth it. <laughs> he gave me like a purple uh, crafting item. Maybe I could go to the 
It would make us fun. You're my blacksmith. Alright, what about you? What are you gonna give me? So, how'd it go? You learn anything useful, or should I be looking for a new trade? Only that a blade should be durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy, and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean anything with his Dalamil remark. But that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with the man to know that he chooses them carefully. No. We must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses, most likely. No doubt you're right, but... I have to make a start soon. I can't put off making this knife forever. Agreed. Luba wouldn't like that much. Right. I've been trained to work iron. The cheap stuff, mind. But it's hardy enough if you don't hammer it too thin, and it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. Trouble is, it's either durable or it's light. Meaning someone is going to be disappointed. Forge Master Lubor, probably. Is there no one else you can turn to? Someone who knows their metals, perhaps? Eh. The other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. But... Maybe there is someone I could turn to. A merchant. A favorite of Forge Master Lubor's who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valkroy. I bet she'd know a thing or two. Hey, hey, where, where the fuck is my reward? Sorry, bitch. What the fuck? How far are you? Okay, that's my main mission. Where the f Holy crap. Any luck? Or will you be needing help with your bags? Well, I asked her, but... Oh, you tell him. If you're looking to make a knife that will impress a master like Lubor, there are options. They're just not that viable. Featherlight adamantite knives will get passed from generation to generation, never needing so much as a lick of the whetstone. But adamantite ore is unique to ash, so it doesn't come cheap. And it's beyond my skill to handle. Unique to Ash. Are there any materials unique to Dalamil? Something which could be mixed with iron to refine it. Make it lighter. What are you getting at? You said the Lubor trained you to work iron. Then that's what he'll expect you to use. But he would have known that it would either be too heavy or too brittle for a carving knife. Perhaps his Dalamil remark wasn't a riddle, but a hint. If it's cheap metal you're using, then there's always limestone, I suppose. Folk first settled Dalamil to get at her mineral deposits. And if you know the trick, it can be melted down in the furnace to drive out impurities from low-quality iron. Bloody hell! That must be it! I don't suppose you know the trick, do you? It's hardly my speciality. But I've been around enough blacksmiths to know how it works. Looks like I've got some learning to do. Clive, I, uh, hate to ask after all that you've done for me, but... The limestone? Fine. I can hardly abandon you now. Besides, I want to know if this is the answer to Lubor's little riddle. <sighs> I can't thank you enough, Clive. You'll have no trouble finding limestone over in the terraces. The place is bloody made of it! Then I suppose I'll meet you back at the forge. Right you are. I'll see you shortly. So, do you crush it up, or just... throw it in the furnace? Damn it! I wanted to know! <laughs> Does it? Wait, where, where is this? Where is this? Oh, it's pretty close. 
I thought it was gonna be a more farther away. No enemies? Fuck. Is this actually it? I thought it was gonna be like in a wall or something, but I'm just picking it up. One rock looks a lot like another. But hopefully this is what Seven needs. Like, I'm gonna need a pickaxe or something to hit the wall. But, shit. Alright, I got your limestone. I hope it's the right thing. I wasn't sure how much you'd need, but I hope this is enough. You are one of the good ones, you know that. You and that merchant both, she's got quite a gift for teaching that one. Now, time to see if limestone is the secret weapon we were hoping for. <sighs> That'll do, I reckon. A knife forged from the very rocks of Dalamil. Her spirit, if you will. It's a fine-looking blade. <sighs> I only hope Master Lubor agrees. That sounds like my cue. And just as well. I was getting tired of waiting. I'm, I'm sorry, Forge Master Lubor. Let's take a look then, shall we? First things first, Sava, do you think this is a carving knife worthy of the fine people of Dalamil? I... I'd like to think so. Uh... But, but what do you think? What do I think indeed? It's sharp-ish, but it won't last long with hard use. And it's heavy, heavier than it should be. You might not think it just to hold it for a moment, but sell that to a cook and you'll never hear the end of it. It looks like someone paid a visit to the terraces. The limestone was a step in the right direction, granted, but one that still leaves you short of the mark. And I was so certain I had it all worked out. I don't know who you found to teach you that little trick, but it certainly shows initiative. Next question. How much do you think I would charge if I'd made this? Well, if it took you even a fraction of the time it took me, I would say you could demand a heavy purse. And who would be able to pay that, hmm? The butcher? The hunter? The cooks over at the inn? Dalamil is home to humble traders, not wealthy lords and ladies. Rule number one in any business, Sava. Know your customers. Yes, Forge Master. This is just about passable. But only just. I'd say you're worth keeping around a little longer. Starting tomorrow, you'll have an anvil of your own. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, I was wondering, uh, what would you do if you were asked to forge a carving knife? I'd do what I always do. Ask who it's for. If it was for the butcher, I'd make sure it holds an edge. For the hunter, I'd make it as tough as Titan. For the cook, light as a feather. And for the nobleman, I'd make it cost an absolute fortune. There goes a master, all right. It looks like congratulations are in order. I couldn't have done it without you. So much for the Forge Master's riddle, though, eh? <laughs> The spirit of Dalamil had nothing to do with limestone or anything much at all. Meaning, I had you run around for no good reason. You've passed your test. That's all that matters. You'll have a forge of your own in no time. And when I do, I'll craft you the finest carving knife you have ever seen. I want to see if you do, if you could beat my blacksmith who could forge.
swords out of motherfucker you give me goblin coins you motherfucker i helped you out if that, if that's how you repaid me you fuck goblin coins of all things needed to a silken socket. shit my fucking blacksmith is much better than you you fucking piece of Made shit from the stoutest stoneware Let's go finish off Koop guy. He's a motherfucker. He's... I'm wondering what, what's he doing right now? He, he actually lose his hands forever or he, he somehow regenerate a uh, new pair of hands? He, he, I, I don't think they could make regenerate body parts. I mean, I have that scar on my face. But yeah, I think in their human form, they can't regenerate or anything of uh, uh, missing limbs. Only if they transform into an icon. There it is, Drake's Fang. Cuckoo will be hiding inside. Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert, you'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, Uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. After what befell at Phoenix Gate, and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however, no. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight. To build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know? Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. Well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then. Go safely, uncle. And you. Nephew, we have much to catch up on, you and I. 
I should expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Torgal. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Kuka. <laughs> <laughs>